Hello and welcome back to Would You Rather Wednesday with your hosts, Zach and Shay. I'm Zach. I'm Shay. And we're in my house. <laughs> because it's cold outside in April in Utah. Thanks, climate change. If this is your first time tuning into Would You Rather Wednesday, this is the show where Shay and I pose the most intense, interesting, and inquisitive Would You Rather scenarios. I'll ask a question. Shay will then ask follow-up questions, at which the end she will have to make a decision. Once she's locked in, I'll be able to add one more detail to see if she truly made the right choice, and then she'll do it to me. Spoiler, I never make the right choice. Well, you always <laughs> tilt it so you think you made the right choice, so you can sleep at night. And that's the spoiler. That's the big spoiler at the end. Shay sleeps at night. Shay, are you ready for your Would You Rather? Mm-hmm. All right. Would you rather give birth to a Gilbert Gottfried impersonator every morning at 6 a.m. or have to sleep every night in Dolly Parton's kangaroo pouch? Let the questions begin. So am I giving birth to the same Gilbert Gottfried? He climbs back in there and then I have to give birth again? It's a different and they're Gilbert Gottfried impersonators. So they'll never be as good as the OG. Well, technically, Gilbert Godfrey is an impersonator of himself. That's not his real voice. Well, that's like, that's like saying, like Robin Williams has his own voice and he's impersonating himself. Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> and you <he> should. <laughs> well, I'm just saying they're they're not as good and they're okay. they're more annoying. Okay. So uh, do I have to raise these kids, or Some... do they disappear? I mean, they're 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 fully sentient and conscious and grown up. Some of them may want to hang out with you. Oh, they're already grown up. So I I'm mean, breathing fully grown Gilbert Godfrey. No, they're only three inches three inches tall, but they are. But they're minis. But they're minis. So they're like I'm birthing bobblehead Gilbert Godfrey's no, every day. <laughs> their heads are perfectly proportional, but as far as the size, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay. Bob, tiny, so tiny, out. tiny little bubble heads. And they just pop out. Um, it wouldn't hurt that bad. I mean, you are giving birth. You have to contract to four centimeters. You know what I think about birth? It's like halfway. <laughs> Gosh. But couldn't it just do their head? Couldn't, couldn't they just come out head first? I mean, that's the safest way. What? They don't want to be breached. They'd have smaller heads than babies' heads. Oh, for, for certain. For certain. For certain. So... You're telling me it'd be halfway the pain of birth? Yeah. To birth a bobblehead? I mean, they're like trying to kick out of there. Four centimeters is not a, not very big. Ten centimeters is only like the size of like a small grapefruit. But they have the full consciousness of a grown Gilbert Godfrey. Impersonator. Does he roast me as he comes out? Some of them do. Okay. And they're like, could you have birthed me any slower? Are you one of the Gilbert Godfrey? No, but that is the level of quality of the Gilbert Godfrey to prisoners. What I just did is the best one you'll hear. Okay. Do um do they love me as their own? Some of them do. You never know what you're going to get. Some are going to be sweet as apple pie. Okay. Some are going to be real nasty and mean. Okay. Yeah. And I forgot. Did they disappear or what? No, they're alive. <laughs> they have their their whole lives. So uh, they have to live in my house, or do I just no. say, like, pack up, move to L.A.? It's your house. You can do what you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I could say, you're out skis. Yeah, but some are so sad. Like, mama, 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 we love you, mama. Okay. Yeah. And the other one is, would I live in Do Dolly Parton's kangaroo pouch? So we're switching to the second scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Does she want me to be in there kicking around, kicking in her kangi pouch? Well, she's um she's facing financial financial trouble, so she will so uh, she's... charge charge you rent. Okay, so she's <laughs> she said instead of renting out my properties, I no. will rent out my uterus. No, she thinks no, it's a kangaroo <laughs> flap, so it's a it's an exterior skin that it, it's like elastic that pops up, and you live in her flesh pouch. Okay, could be part of her uterus. Um, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's not. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe the science hasn't been discovered all the way, so you think it's not, but it is. Scientists have done extensive papers and research on are this. All, are all the scientists men? No, they're all women. Okay. Yeah. Convinced me. So, do we have a strong relationship? Does she give me popsicles? It's a landlord-tenant situation. 
Okay, so kind of passive aggressive. It's like, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, and then when I say, like, hey, can you put a cover on this electrical unit in your kangi pouch? She'll be like, oh, yeah, for sure. And like before, she'll be like, hey, you know what you need? An electrical cover. I'll pay for that, no problem. And then like、oh. three weeks later, when you text her and say, hey,、yeah. are you going to put that electrical cover? She's like, I thought you were going <laughs> to pay for that. <laughs> and I thought you were going to do that and do all that work. Does she, what if I say the AC is broken? In here, aka her internal temperature. Well, two weeks before, she'll go, like, I want you comfortable. I、okay. want you to have a great time. I'm going to put an AC unit. And the two weeks go by, and she's like, Oh, no. Most apartments have, are, are 98 degrees all the time. And it's weird that you would ask <laughs> for that much. Okay. And I can't get closer to her no matter what. No, There's you... nothing I can do. I mean, you can get as close as you can to a landlord. Okay. Well, we live with our landlord. We're very good <laughs> friends. <laughs> well, we were good friends before, and you're going in cold. True. Cold,、yeah. cold turkey. Yeah. Okay. Cold Dolly. So, is it a big pouch? Because I'm 5'2. I mean, it's very elastic, but it's just the width of her body. And so, it's basically like, you know, when you go inside a garbage bag and someone vacuums the air and it sticks to your skin like that?、Mm-hmm. So, that's what it's like. Okay. Yeah. Am I going to be there front and center for her shows? I mean, only when you sleep. Jolene, so she. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Jolene. I won't fix that electrical cover.、Um, I mean, only if you're trying to sleep. And like, I don't think she'd be down with that. She won't let me, so she kicks me out for well, I mean, certain dur- parts. During of her. her performance. Yeah, that'd be like if someone came into our house and they were like, we got to film in here. Get out. Yeah, I mean, you're renting from Dolly Parton. Like, it's, it's like you can sleep there. But I mean, like, legally you can. Like, you can press the issue, but she's going to give you a ton of guff. Okay.、Uh, so it's really just for sleeping. That's all I have to do in there. Yeah, you have to sleep there every night. And I can just live my life other ways. Yeah. You just have to sleep in Dolly Parton's kangaroo pouch. Okay. And、um, can I have friends over? Inside?、Mm-hmm. I mean, again, it's, it's <laughs> infinitely elastic, but the volume doesn't change, like the space of her body. So we'll sag. So you would be crumped up with your friend in there, like, isn't this cool? You might、that、do it once.、Cool. Well, I do it every day. You, I mean, your friends was like, I'll try with you once. Well, and then I have like, a bunch of friends. Yeah, you could cycle through. Yeah. yeah. Some will say yes, some will say no. I feel like that'd make it more fun if it's like, dude, you gotta check out Dolly Parton's pouch. Yeah, they'd be like, I mean, get Kangi. She's、them. a legend. Get... <laughs> <laughs> that, and that's the password to get in. Get Kangi get with Kangi it. Get Kangi with it. At .net. <laughs> well, it's an email to email the password. <laughs>、yeah. Get Kangi with it. At Kangi with it. Passcode verification. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, the answer is so obvious. Yeah. Birthing is one of the biggest pains in the world. Yeah. And. It's in very uncomfortable. And I, and every day is a lot.、Yeah. To be pregnant every day would, would impact my life so much. Right. So I'd rather live in Dolly Parton's little pouch. Parton、right. pouch. Okay, locked in. Parton the pouch. Parton the pouch.、Um, all right, last detail. Every morning when you wake up and you get out of the pouch, it's you being born. So you wake up bald, you have a soft spot on your head. <laughs> You're covered in blood and you have an umbilical cord reattached. But I'm my grown self. But you're your grown self. So why am I bald? <laughs> <laughs> I'm my grown self, but bald. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. That's funny.、Um, yeah. And, yet, and she has to nurse you every morning. That's great. That's great. That's the best part. <laughs> All those plastic titties. <laughs> All of them. All of them. BPA. BPA free. <laughs>、oh, yeah, you said it, sister. <laughs> All right, your turn. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, man. I forgot them already. You'll get it. Just remember one and then tweak it slightly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man. Oh, okay. Would you rather live in a cartoon? Um. But you're, you're human, your flesh, your flesh. They Sp- are cartoons. Space Jam style. Yes, Space Jam style. But you're the only one, so they think you're f- an oddity. 
And as you live in the cartoon, the same way that they there is no character growth and you cannot change and you can't take things seriously, the same is true for you. So if you're like trying to have a heart to heart with your mom, she's like, skedaddle, skank. Yeah. And then so you it's hard for you to form real relationships. Okay. And any person that you meet, they are defined probably by like three characteristics. Yeah. And they will not change. So option one, live a two dimensional cartoon life. Right. Or so like shaggy. If you had like if your brother was shaggy, it would be like, Hey man, I'm really worried about your drug consumption. Right. And that would just never change. Right. He would just be like, Oh so what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Scooby snack, and he'd yeah. feed you scoop snacks. Copy, copy. Or the alternative option is, you are a doctor that has to give any person who is dying the news. You have to deliver the fact that they're dying, but you have to do it as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you told someone that they were dying of a piano falling on their head tomorrow. You'd have to do it, but you'd have to be like, and this is key. You're going to die of a piano falling on you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So option one, two dimensional say, cartoon life. You might want to tune out of this because you're going to die of a piano falling so on you. So you're giving me all the good ones. <laughs> um, or, or, I, or I have to give the news for every death on planet Earth. Okay, one, tw four times a day. Four times a day. Four times a day you have to tell a person that they're dying and you have to do it with a joke so that they'll be like, that's really insensitive. And then you have to keep joking. You can't like apologize. I, I can't say, I'm sorry, that was part of my job. <laughs> yeah. I'm really sorry for your future loss. Yeah, you have to be like. I have to, I have to commit to the bit. You have to commit <laughs> to the bit of telling a person how they die and making a, a joke. joke about it. And some of them are in the future. <laughs> It's yeah. some of them are prophecies. Yeah. So I have to tell <laughs> four, four joke prophecies a day. But some of them, it's <laughs> some of them you tell them how they're going to die and then it happens right in front of you. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Okay. Or sometimes it's like it's stage four diabetes. Yeah. I want to start with the second one. Okay. So it seems like a matter of statistics for me because how many people die within my vicinity every single day? Well, it doesn't matter who's close to you. I have to tell them over the phone or over Zoom? No, they'll appear in front of you. They'll appear. <laughs> Magically, so... Because how it works is they'll walk into their doctor's office and uh -huh. then it will vortex them straight into wherever you are. Even if I'm on my couch or taking a shower. Yeah, and they'll be like, this is a weird doctor's office. <laughs> doctor's in a shower, I guess. And then I have to say, hi, I'm Dr. Atherton. Um... You're going to get hit by a truck. Um, I bet you wish your memory had more RAM. <laughs> and then when, do, then when do they get to leave? Once they're sobbing. Only once they're sobbing? <laughs> yeah, so you have to berate them with jokes until they cry. And then finally they can leave. And sometimes that takes a, a full day. And so then other people, you they, gotta get your four in. Because they gotta go through all this, or at least a few of the stages of grief. Yeah. And so I have to be like, they're like, okay, ha ha, I'm gonna leave now. And they can't leave. And yeah. I'm gonna be like, your family's gonna be a wreck. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. what? And then I have to keep doing car crash puns yeah. until they start crying. Yeah. And Can so I tell them that? I'm like, you can't leave until you start crying. You have to start crying. After four, you can tell them that they have to start crying. Kay. But it is possible that. The truck could run them over in your house. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, but you can't die. So can't the truck die. could run you over, a piano could hit you, but you can't die. So I'm immortal. <laughs> <laughs> you're not immortal in the sense that you don't have pain, like you're old, your back will hurt, you still have to shave your ear hairs. It's personal. <laughs> <laughs> it's very private. I mean, in this hypothetical. <laughs> Yeah, in the hypothetical, you have your hairs, you must shave. Yeah, I must. Weird. <laughs> um, okay, and so I have to do that four times a day. What happens yeah. if I don't do it in a day? What well, if someone's like, look, man, you're crazy. I'm getting out of here. Like, what happens when they try to leave my bathroom? 
Um, Did they just succession st- or uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Severance style, just pop back in? Yeah, but sometimes it's kind of ironic that them trying to escape is Causes what kills them. So sometimes they're trying to escape, they're jiggling the doorknob. And are they always dying that day? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And sometimes they're... So I have an incentive <laughs> to please cry, please cry, please cry, <laughs> so I don't have to watch you die. Yeah. Only sometimes it's in the future, like three years from now. Only sometimes. But I never know if they're going to get... Know. If a truck is going to run through <laughs> my bathroom today, or if they're going to jaywalk three years in the future, I have yeah. no idea. If a raptor... But if your friend Clive's raptor is going to kill them. In a in a construction site. Right. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's hop over to cartoon. Okay. So is it cartoon rules? Do I have Michael Jordan at the end of Space Jam rules where I, I can start to assimilate some of their cartoon abilities like stretching? and So I have normal human physics. Normal human physics, which makes everyone... They're disgusted by you because they can go really fast. They can like fall off a cliff and be fine. So they could do a quick cut to and appear somewhere else, and I'm walking 17 miles. Yeah, like... trudging through the cartoon meadow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is my whole life. Your whole life, starting now. <laughs> um, and so if I'm like kiddo. You can't make death threats at school. That's not okay. Yeah. He'll, like, not take it seriously. He'll, yeah. like, he'll be like, we got to solve the mystery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he'll be, like, chasing after bad guys just as, like, an eight-year-old. Well, what genre of cartoon am I in? Every genre. Does it change every day? Yeah. Or is our people stuck? Do I have, like, a dark detective friend? And then I have, like, a wacky, like, pony friend. And mm-hmm. then I have... Yeah, let's say it changes every day. So I never know. So you never know, which also makes it hard because you have kids. So one day your kid is like a Bart Simpson, like smarty pants, you know, thinks you're stupid. So reacts to everything you say like you're stupid. Yeah. And then another day they're like. um, So it's like WandaVision. Yeah. Every day I'm changing and and I don't know what it's going to be. Sometimes it's Dora, and it's like so painfully. They're like, "How do we say school? S C H?" And you have to sit through the whole thing. You have to be like, "That's not how you say it. That's how you spell it, Dora." <laughs> but some, but will some go to gritty cartoons like Invincible, where like there's superheroes like popping off people's heads and stuff? No, it's always age appropriate. That's the other thing. It's to like, whose age? <laughs> To kids' age. It's always so it's YA. Crazy. It's or, not even or YA. Five. PG. So you, that means, like, I think there's a movie that talks about this. It's like anytime you're about to engage in romantic behaviors, it, it like cuts. There's no blood. There's no there's blood. There's no swears. Yeah. So it's like Bluey, and then it's like Dora, and then it's like Bananas in Pajamas, and then it's Barney. Yeah, except what is, what is um, like, the Simpsons. What is that? I mean, that's not that's not age appropriate. But that's like TV PG, right? That's like TV. That's like TV fourteen. Okay, we'll say TV fourteen. So there can be some violence. People can get shot. Okay, you can get shot, but there's not really like blood. Not a, not, not not a lot of gore. Yeah, and, and like you can survive bullets. I can survive bullets. No, sorry, you I can't. can't. <laughs> but the people around me can. The people around you can, and they can like get bonked in the head and. And they can, they can escape their consequences. So that's the other thing that would be so frustrating. It's like everyone else can escape their consequences, but you have to live in them fully. Okay, interesting. All right, well, I think I'm ready. Okay. So the cartoon one seems that everyone I know and love will <laughs> fundamentally, fundamentally change every single day until they are <laughs> basically unrecognizable. Until I die well, from they, cartoon physics. They have the same two it's or in. three, like, emotional... Well, I'm just letting you know already. Uh, okay. But before you lock it in, because I just want to clarify. Right. Because remember, they're still the same 2D emotional characters. So, like, right. Shaggy would still, like, love food so much and be able to eat a butt ton and still stay, stay so skinny. So my son, Cohen, would love Roblox. He would and... love Roblox and iPad. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be one of his key defining traits. Yeah. and he would, But he would also, like, be emotional, very, like, open about his emotions. That wouldn't change. Right. 
Right. But and his emotions would be two-dimensional. Right. Yeah. Which is almost entirely unrecognizable from how I know <laughs> I would love him today. True. And it would seem I would die so quickly. It was just if other people can survive bullets and I can't, it just seems like it seems like a pathway to death. Well, you do have plot armor. Ah. Pants are still not changed. <laughs> it's locked in. Okay. Uh, and I choose, uh, I'm going to be, it seems like people come to me, I feel like I'd be pretty good <laughs> at making terrible jokes to make people cry. Yeah. I'd probably, like, set my room up or wherever I am to, like, you know, watch this short video, sort yeah. of, like, explaining it. I think I get pretty good. And it's only four times a day. Yeah. And I don't have to impact anyone else but myself and these soon-to-be-dying people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, lock. Ready for the reveal? Yeah. The first person that you have to tell a joke about how they're dying is yourself. So I'm dying. <laughs> Either now or in three years. Yeah. And I can't leave myself until I start crying. Yeah. For my own jokes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm locked in my own room until I can make myself cry. Well, yeah. that'll be easy. <laughs> Well, awesome. That's been this episode of Would You Rather Wednesday. If you have any specific Would You Rather scenarios you'd like to try it on for size, make sure you comment below. Um, but in the meantime, don't forget, if you're ever trapped in a cartoon, then you'll be dead soon. See you. Bye. <laughs>